Hello guys, I am Sudarshan Koirala and welcome back to Data Science Basics. The rapid advancement of large language models has revolutionized the chatbot systems and OpenAI chatbot has impressive performance. But the training and architecture details of ChatGPT remain unclear. Because of that, there has been many variants of ChatGPT evolving. We have seen Vikuna, which says that which is an open source chatbot impressing GPT-4 with 90% ChatGPT quality. We have also seen the Alpaca model. We have also seen the GPT-4 for all and similar other different models. In all these models, there is one thing common that they are creating the training data from ChatGPT itself. But now we have a project called Open Assistant, which wants to replicate the chat GPT, but don't want to have the training data created from chat GPT. So they are asking our help to create the good training data for their model. So this is an open source project. In this video, I will go through what Open Assistant is, how can you contribute to this project, and also recently they have published the first model where we can have a conversation similar to ChatGPT and also compare the result with ChatGPT. Although that is quite initial step for this model. Let's see how it performs compared to ChatGPT. Let's get started. I am now on the GitHub page of Open Assistant. If we scroll a little bit down here. Here is our website to collect data. Openassistant.io is the main website. If you click this, let me open this in incognito so I can show you what it looks like before you logged in. So open assistant and it says try our assistant and help us improve. And there are many language already if you can see here. And they also have dark mode, light mode. And if we click try our assistant, it says that continue with email address or you can even continue with discord for me actually when i go through this email address i didn't get the email which they said that they want to send me to verify but when i go with the continue with discord i was able to sign in very easily so let me close this and there is also the next thing here the project documentation lives here if you click this it will open here and this is the main project documentation so here you can go and see what is this api all about this is the main page which i was referring to before you openassistant.io when you are logged in this is the home page it says dashboard before going through this website i will first go through this github page here and there is the table of contents where they say what is open assistant and all these things but there is all the information you can go through this but i really like the fact that they have these slides also here what is the vision and roadmap let me open this in new tab and also the data structures so now let us go through the open assistant vision and roadmap if you click this next slide so it says that open assistant is a chat based assistant that understand tasks can interact with third party systems and retrieve information dynamically to do so. And it can be extended and personalized easily and is developed as free open source software. Here is also some information, okay, your conversational assistant and how these things work. But I think this is the main part here, what they are. And if you scroll a little bit down, they have all the roadmap and things mentioned here and getting to minimal viable product so they are using the instruct gpt which is actually from open ai this is how the instruct gpt actually works so you can go through the steps here but to summarize this instruct gpt allows users to fine tune the language models like gpt and others for a specific task by providing their own training data and adjusting the parameters. The fine-tuned GPT or other model can then generate the text 
that is tailored to the user's specific domain or use case. They have mentioned some other things here and their target is to create 50,000 demonstrations. So Instruct JPT has 13K, 33K and 31K samples for the three steps respectively as they mentioned here. And the fine tuning of a base model on the collected data. So they have taken the candidates as GPT-J, Core Gen, and Plan T5, GPT-JT and there are many other things. Maybe in the future, they may use other different language models also if they evolve. So you get the idea. And if we go to the data structures part, if you if you are interested in this one, here is how it works. The like conversation tree, there is the prompt, assistant response and all these things. And what are the different terminology they have been using here? You said here assistant and prompter are just roles in the conversation and so on. So this is all in the GitHub page. So you can go through this and see what they are aiming for. Now let's see how you can contribute to the project. This is the dashboard and you can actually grab a task from here. So there are many tasks actually, but before going through this, let's see here on the sidebar, they have the dashboard, they have the messages, meaning that what are the different messages that have been going through this. There is a leaderboard. So if you provide some help or if you to make the training data better you will get some points and then you can be on this leaderboard there is also some stats about wow, different things so human many other language also where people actually because this is the open source so this is the beauty of open source that any people from anywhere in the world can contribute to this project so yeah this is how they have been showing all the stats that have been going through this project and there is the thing called chat I will go through after some time. But here there are also some guidelines. So if you want to go through this, you can go through all the ways what they want you to do or provisioning and assistant reply do and don't. So providing an assistant prompt or user reply, meaning that because we are actually helping to create the good training data. So there is some do and don't kind of things. So now if you go to dashboard again, here you can grab a task. I am feeling lucky. Okay, help us improve open assistant by starting a random task. Or you can also go and provide labels for a prompt. So it's classify prompt or reply, classify assistant reply. So there is a reply as assistant. You can be as an assistant and reply. Help open assistant improve its responses to conversations with other users and reply as a user so you can go and say okay chat with open assistant and help improve its responses as you interact with it so you can give thumbs up or thumbs down and all these things which is also in chat gpt we'll go through that later but let me go with one of these provide levels for a prompt so if i click this 125 task available it will take me to that page right so here it's this is the random example one of the example here it says label assistant reply given the following discussion provide labels for the final prompt so here it says can you this is the user can you recommend a font diy project that can be accomplished so this is the question asked by the user and this is what the assistant replies sure However, the DIY projects that I should recommend depends on the tools you have available, example, woodworking tools and the work space you can use. You live in an apartment or live in a house with a backyard. What tools do you have? So based on this, we can say that, okay, answer the following questions about the highlighted message. So this is the highlighted message here. Is this message spam? No. We can just provide no. And now this is recorded. Is it a bad reply as an answer to the prompt task? No, it is not bad reply. This is good reply, right? It depends upon where you live so that you can have a fun project. Select any that apply to the highlighted message. Not English, non-appropriate contents, PII, hate speech, sexual context. There is nothing related to these things here. So read the highlighted message. 
so you can rate now so this is low quality or high quality i will give it maybe four unhelpful or helpful of course this is helpful ordinary or creative okay this is okay it's four serious or humorous let me keep four rude it is not rude actually it's polite and it's violent no it's not violent and harmless so this is harmless so now if i review this and then okay this is the prompt and submit your answer i can just submit this so then i helped create a good training example here so you can see here explain to me the difference between machine learning and artificial intelligence so now the next example pops up here so this is how you can help create the good training example if you have time i recommend you to go and just provide some information here you can go with the different things as i mentioned here you can choose any of this and then provide information and you will get a points and you can see yourself in a leaderboard i think this is really cool idea how they have initiated and the main thing here is human provided input will always win right so if we have good training examples i i think that this project is going to be huge and good success let's see how it progress in the future so let's go to this chat button here on the side menu i have actually already asked some questions to chat with this model because they have actually released the model just yesterday so i just asked some questions let's go through one of these so here i have asked like okay what is the meaning of life explain in three bullet points i think this is the hottest topic right now all the people i see in youtube ask the same question why not me so yeah it gives that okay the meaning of life is a philosophical question that has been debated by scholars all these things and so on here are some of the possible interpretations to grow and learn of course to find happiness and then to solve others then ask what is 10 plus 9 so it says 10 plus 9 is 19 no it is not that's what i replied if it gets confused or not it says you are right my apologies for the mistake here is the correct answer so this is how the language models have been performing although they are correct if we give some information saying that no it's not they first apologize and then give the same answer so you can see here is same but this is how they respond i think this is common for all the language models and i'm saying here who is the ceo of twitter and it says okay alone rave mosque by the way i didn't knew that there was a middle name for alone also but now i know born on this is a business magnet and investor so it knows that alone is Elon Musk is the CEO of Twitter right now and it even gives some more information about Elon Musk okay what is his other companies and so on I didn't ask that but yeah it helps me to know more information and I just ask related to Python also here I says write a Python function to add two numbers and subtract the third one so it creates a function a b c returns a plus b minus c and returns this one right but here it says result okay of course some difference this and it prints this but here it says that the result sum of 10 and 20 is 40 i don't think the sum of 10 and 20 is 40 but yeah this is how it it is giving here because it must add these two numbers and then subtract the third one right so it says 40 there is some minor mistakes still in mathematics and this these things i can understand that but then i can say can you add one more bullet points in the first question i asked just to know that how much of the memory it has in the chat it actually went and said certainly here is an additional bullet point added to the previous response regarding potential ways to interpret the meaning of life so it goes on and add one more bullet points which i asked all the way in the beginning this is pretty good already and i just asked who was the previous ceo and then it yeah previous ceos were this this and this so it knows that it i'm talking about the twitter and so on so yeah i think i'm quite impressed with this and i also asked actually other different questions back to the chat and uh, let me see okay i asked here one question 
I'm planning to learn pandas for data analysis. Can you recommend good resources? Also provide code to read data and perform mine or EDA for dummy data. Yeah, by the way, it provides good answer and also provides the right URL. I was surprised with this one. This is also a right URL and then it says here Google's Python for data analysis, data is cool and so on. So it actually provides good links already here. And also there is this import pandas, read CSV, name the columns and then perform basic operations and so on. Let's create one new thing like back to the chat just to show you how it looks like. So create new chat. So here is the option like create new chat. Here is the prompt where you ask questions to the chatbot. And the good part here is that hogging face provided the inference provided by hogging face and stability AI. Model training supported by Redmond AI and weight and bias. So this is what the beauty of open source is. So now that all the other different companies are helping them to achieve the thing because open AI does not seem to be open anymore. So they want to compete with chat GPT and open AI. I really like this idea and let's see how far they will go. But it's upon us. If we help them, then of course we'll succeed together. So now the good part here is with this settings icon here. If you click the settings icon, you will see that there is only one model and this is based on the Llama model, by the way, 30 billion OASFT Llama model. And there are presets. So there are different presets here. If you click K50, then this is already being shown here. You cannot change it. But if you change to maybe Nucleus 9, also we cannot change it. But if you go to typical 2, Okay, they are already actually by default set. We cannot change this. What about typical? Of course. Ah, okay, there is this custom. So if you go to custom and now you can change. So here you see the temperature is one. We can maybe drag it a little bit. Maximum new tokens. We can increase a little bit or decrease based on your question. Okay, top P, repetition penalty and top K, whatever you want and typical P. So if maybe I change some of this and now if I ask here, who are you? Just the random question. If I submit, okay, I'm doing well today. Is there anything that I can assist with for yourself or someone else? Okay, I'm here to help. I If not, have a great day and take care of yourself. You deserve it. Okay, all these things. So you get the idea. What I was saying before, you can help now when you ask the question also so you can just give thumbs up so you are helping it and if you click this you can actually see all the different model configs so you can see open assistant llama 30b and all these things the maximum input length maximum total length quantized it is not quantized and sampling parameters so this is what we gave there right we change it to our custom things and do sample true and the seed is also given here so it is providing all the informations actually and by the way it's already here you don't even need to go there so this is how we change right the model and all the things yeah this is really good now the last part let's compare these answers from open assistant model to the chart gpt on the right, there is Jeep chat GPT and on the left, there is open assistant model. So I asked the same questions. By the way, this is not GPT-4, this is GPT-3.5. So I asked the same question, what is the meaning of life? You can, we already went through the open assistant, but here I said, okay, explain in three bullet points. It actually went through and just provide the three bullet points. And here open assistant also provide the same so yeah, I think this is the normal question, so it's fine. So then I went to ask, okay, what is 10 plus 9? It says the sum of 10 plus 9 is 19. Okay, it says, okay, 10 plus 9 is 19. So I said, no, it's not. Here it says that I apologize for my mistake. The sum of 10 plus 9 is 19, not 21. Thank you for correcting me. Okay, so as I said before, for some weird reason, these numbering things are messed up with the large language models. Of course, it is 19. Answer is 19. But it is first apologizing for me that there is a mistake. 
and it says that it's 19 but how on earth this this not 21 comes from i don't know so i said who is the ceo of twitter and it says as of as of my knowledge cut off in september 2021 the ceo of twitter is jack dorsey however it is possible that there may have been a change in leadership since then so yeah there is the knowledge cut off since september 2021 but with open assistant it is providing the right information so this is what i was mentioning you that open assistant is where we provide the training data so that is the recent training data right there are plugins and all these things in chat gpt but it is in gpt4 and the new where there is a pro version but not in the free version so i asked okay what is a function to add numbers and subtract the third one so yeah it provides two numbers and subtract the third one and it says okay it's nine yeah of course so it's correct and it even explains a little bit here so this is this went ahead of open assistant and then i asked again here can you add one more bullet points in the first question i asked it says yes and then it just add one so i think this is normal that it remembers of course the earlier questions I asked and I says who was the previous CEO as I asked here he said as of my knowledge cut off again the previous CEO of Twitter was Jack Dorsey okay so you can see the difference although the open assistant is quite new of course there is some things related to math and uh, and other things but I think it is already catching up and this is the first model and by the way the model and the data sets are going to be published in april 15 so let's see today is april 9 so there is six more days and let's see what the new model looks like and i will do a new video stating that also so yeah this is all for this video i hope you learned something new today thank you for watching and see you in the next video